Hi guys, so uh, I'm still building an engine at the moment and because I haven't finished uh, I'm going to go back to my electronic project a little while until I get my engine done. So I'm doing a revisit on this tiny toroid coil and um, I just because it kind of broke a little bit so I thought I'll, I'll redo it. Um, how do we know if that is actually working on straightforward 1.5 volt battery or not okay because it could some of them could work on 1.5 volt battery so we're going to just check it in a minute but before i do do check this let me just uh, plug my three volt in so this is a three volt here I'm just going to plug it in so I'll plug that in there and we have three volts through here in theory so let's see now. Okay, it's the other way around. There you go. Light up now. I don't know if you can see, I'm going to turn my lighting off here. So it lights up with three volts. Okay, guys. So lighting up with three volts. Now, just to be sure that this battery is uh, a new battery, which I just put in. Here you go. One point. Okay. Hold it tight. 1.56 volts, okay? All right. Yeah. So turn the battery around. That was a negative. That was a positive. There's no light coming on there whatsoever. As you can see that, no lighting at all. And if I turn this battery around still, No lighting coming on. So that's just to prove that that it doesn't work on what this one, this LED does not work on 1.5 volts straight. So that's why we will say that it does work with 11 connected. There you go. So this toroid is working perfectly good. So that answers that question, but I am going to renew it. Uh, um, give me a second again. After trying many capacitors and some resistors, changing them, I still couldn't get this to flash. So I thought maybe the toroid should have more turns on it. So I've got 10 turns on because I can't get any more wires through the middle there. I've got 10 turns on, but I'm using a thicker gauge wire this time. Maybe that's what it needs, I'm not sure. But we'll see anyway. So I'm just going to, I know somebody's going to say what gauge wire was it, etc. So let's just check it out. 0.3536. Okay, that's the, that's the diameter of the wire. So guys, I've put one together, uh, a toroid coil, a different one, LED. Trans, uh, transistor, resistor, and battery. What happens here as well is same thing that that uh, this one does. This one, which I got off the uh, lollipop stick. Same things happening here. Now I've tried. I show you. Look, I've tried um, many capacitors across it, resistors across it. It's not flashing. So I'm not sure why it's not flashing. Nope, and this way down. No, so I found that the red LEDs are not flashing uh, for what reason I'm not sure. I'm going to try a white LED here and see if that will work. Uh, before I put the white LED on, let's just make sure that it doesn't work on 1.5 volt. So this is the negative, as you can see, it's a short lead. And this is the negative, so I'll put that on there. And this is positive. As you can see, it's not working. So that means it works on more than 1.5 volts. So guys, instead of messing about on that little thing there, I took it apart 
uh, it's a 3904 transistor so uh, I put a new one in there because the other one's like kind of mashed up a bit so here we are uh, let's just explain something to you okay so we use this okay so what I've done is I've took um, the two ends the cathode and uh, and the sorry emitter and collector out here so the LED is out the way and then the lead uh, the the two leads at the end of this one connected to positive is right here. The one end goes to the resistor there. I've separated it here. And the other end goes to, uh, I think it's collector. The collector there. So that's the lead there. And I connected the base up here and the, uh, the other end of this resistor to the the coil as it were. Okay, so this is working now, as you can see. It's lighting up. I put a white LED in, so it's lighting up. Okay, guys, so I've got a, I got a, a resistor and capacitor connected there, and the white LED is flashing. Okay, guys, so the only way you can see it's flashing if I turn the main light off. As you can see, it's flashing, okay? That's what it does. That's 10 microfarad capacitor. Now turn the light off. As you can see, it's flashing the same way as the other one. Yes, I took the resistors out and put only one in, and it's flashing the same. Change the capacitors, flashing the same. So what I'm going to do now, this toroid works really nicely. I'm going to put it together because it was, an, it was a project already made up with this toroid. It was working nicely, it wasn't flashing. But with this uh, white LED, it actually does flash. If I put the red one in, it will not flash. Um, I'm going to put this together, and I'm going to see, because a lot of people have made uh, these things, saying running for five years, seven, ten, some say one year. And I'd just like to, like to see how, that, how good that is. So I'll put a new battery in, uh, put it together, and see how long that will flash for. I'm going to make other projects as well, similar to this, and see how long they flash Okay guys, so I'm very pleased with this now. I put a 100k resistor there and it's fast flashing slower. Let's just turn the lights off and see. Anyway, see how, how slow it is. This is the result I want. I want it to flash this slow. I think it, the battery will last longer. So, yes guys, I'm happy with that. I think I'm leave it like that now and I'll put it together as it is. Then I'll do a drawing of what I've done. So guys, I'm going to set this for today uh, and then we'll see how long it runs. I'm hoping it will run at least one year. So it says here, 5th of the 5th, 24. Somehow I've got to mark it. So we'll call this one a lollipop uh, flasher because that's one lollipop stick. <laughs>
guys so this is working now as you can see and uh, it looks nice I like it anyway so we're going to see how long that will last and see what happens from now Subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment, thank you for watching.